Sometimes opportunities come our way out of the blue, taking us on journeys we never expected to take, and perhaps even giving us the opportunity to introduce others to the inner worlds that Flower introduced to us. A friend of my husband, who has come to Quest Haven a few times, recently moved into the community where I now live. And we met up in the parking lot, and she asked me if I would be willing to meet with her outside, masks on, six feet apart, and tell her the, the lessons I have learned at Quest Haven. Another woman heard us talking. She has been to Quest Haven once, and she also asked if she could join us. They both grew up in Orthodox Christian churches, and they knew that Quest Haven is not a typical or Orthodox Christian church, and they were curious how the teachings here differed. So we planned to meet one Friday morning uh, at outside tables to talk, the day before we met, I began to feel this responsibility that was falling on me of how best to represent Flowers' teachings. And I, I got my whole row of Flowers' books in my office, and as I looked through them, I asked myself, if I had to narrow it down, what would I consider the most valuable, the most life-changing lessons that Flower taught me? I knew they would be far different than the lessons I was taught in the Methodist Church and Sunday School in Indianapolis where I grew up. Those lessons were typical Orthodox lessons about Jesus, and I wanted to know more. I wanted to know what the world was really like, and not just history from long ago. I was wishing I had kept a good journal when I first came here because I would have loved to be able to read my thoughts when I first heard Flower speak. I do remember when she started describing the invisible realms of life, realms I had never heard about in any other church, I was spellbound. I have since heard words that probably best describe what I felt, and those words are, for this I came. It was as if I came to earth this time to hear these words and take into myself these lessons. So knowledge about the inner side of life is not only what drew me here, it's what has kept me here for decades. You would think I would have been skeptical and filled with doubt to hear all this new information, but for me it was just the opposite. It seemed to me as if Flower was holding the key to a door that had been kept locked and sealed from me. So every Sunday, I came to this sanctuary and sat to learn the next lesson and the next lesson and the next lesson week after week. And slowly that door began to open. Light flooded in and I began to understand what life was really like. Learning that we humans came to this dense planet Earth from a place filled with incredible music and light and color, far above and beyond what we experience here, made me want to go there and see it. And learning that we return to those realms, invisible to most of us now, when our time on Earth is over, is a blessing I've never taken for granted. <laughs> 